F. Sparrow Crib Assembly. For assembly assistance, please dial 1-800-691-8810. Before you begin the assembly, please make sure to read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. The following parts are required for installation. Verify that all parts, hardware and tools are included. Step 1. Installing the dowels. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin this step by placing one of the two side panels, part 1A and part 2A, flat on the floor. Next, attach three dowels, parts B1, to the three holes on the side panel and one dowel on the top hole of part 2A. Place three additional dowels in the opposite side of panel 1A and one on the opposite top hole of part 2A. Repeat this same step for the remaining side panel parts 1A and part 2A. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Prepping the side rails. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin by setting part 3A flat on the floor. Next, take two D1 screws and attach them to the bottom holes of the legs of part 3A. Using your hand, slightly tighten the screw with a minimum of one revolution. Careful not to over-tighten the screw. Repeat for the opposite side. Next, set the second side rail, part 3A, on the floor and attach two more set screws, part D1, onto the bottom holes. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Installing the cross rails. For this step, you will require the following parts. With the parts oriented upside down as shown, attach the edge of part 1A to the side of part 3A by carefully pushing the dowels into the holes. Next, take three G1 screws and insert them through the remaining holes of part 1A. Tighten the screws using the provided Allen wrench, part E1. Continue to insert the remaining two screws, being careful not to over-tighten them. Next, using the same procedure, attach the remaining side panel, 1A, to the opposite side of part 3A and secure the three G1 screws. Finally, take one bottom cross rail, part 2A, and carefully push it into place. This will leave the screw, part D1, sticking through the hole as shown. Proceed by inserting the plastic clip, part C1, between the screw and the bottom cross rail, part 2A. Use the flathead screwdriver, part L, to tighten the screw by turning it clockwise. Repeat the rotation until the screw is fully tightened. Finally, repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Please take care not to over-tighten the screws. Next, insert the plastic clip, part C1, between the screw and bottom cross rail, part 2A. Use the flathead screwdriver, part L, to tighten the screw by turning it clockwise. Step 3 is now complete. Step 4. Side Rail Installation For this step, you will require the following parts. With the crib still upside down, attach the remaining long side rail, part 3A, by carefully aligning the dowel and screws already installed and pushing into place. Next, take three G1 screws and insert them through the remaining holes of part 1A. Tighten the screws using the provided Allen wrench, part E1. Repeat these same steps for the opposite side. 
Proceed by inserting the plastic clip, part C1, between the screw and the bottom cross rail, part 2A. Use the flathead screwdriver, part L, to tighten the screw by turning clockwise and continuing this rotation until the screw is fully tightened. Repeat these same steps for the opposite side, taking care not to over-tighten the screws. Use the flathead screwdriver, part L, to tighten the screw by turning clockwise and continuing this rotation until the screw is fully tightened. After checking that all screws are fully secured, turn the crib over to set it upright. Step 4 is now complete. Step 5. Installation of the Mattress Support Tabs For this step, you will require the following parts. You will also require a Phillips crosshead screwdriver. The mattress can be installed at three different heights. The lowest setting is the recommended default height, but the position can be adjusted as needed to a medium or higher position. For the default bottom position, push the tabs, part F1, into the side panels as shown. For a medium or higher position, part F1 can be moved up or down. Once a height is selected, push part F into position and fill the remaining four holes with part J screws and tighten them using a Phillips screwdriver. Next, repeat these steps for the opposite side by inserting the remaining tabs and screws into the appropriate holes and secure them into place using the Phillips screwdriver. Step 5 is now complete. Step 6. Installing the Mattress Floor Support in this step, we place the mattress floor support, part 4A, onto the height adjustment tabs. This is done by inserting part 4A into the crib and sliding it downward into position. Make sure the board is centered inside the crib by matching the four corner holes on the board with the four F1 support tabs and carefully slide them into place. Step 6 is now complete. Step 7. Securing the mattress floor support. For this step, you will require the following parts. Begin by placing four K washers and four A1 nuts on top of the mattress support tabs. Next, tighten the four nuts with the Allen wrench. Being careful not to over tighten, rotate the Allen wrench clockwise to tighten the nuts. Repeat these same steps for the remaining three holes. Being careful not to over tighten, rotate the Allen wrench clockwise to tighten the nuts. Finally, insert your mattress into the crib. Step 7 is now complete. Congratulations! You have now completed the assembly of the Sparrow Crib. Brought to you by F.